Hey, hey, you guys. Happy Tuesday and welcome to the replay. Today, we're going to use the super cute Spring Bunnies pattern and this fun little egg shape that I found along with some little wooden dowels and some wood, uh, I guess you would call these live wood rounds. And we're going to make a little stand up piece as a project today. And we're going to do this lightning quick because of course, as per usual, guess who is always running super late, but you guys I've got, Oh, I have something. Oh no. Did I forget to do something? Hold on. I may have forgotten to do something. I oh, know I didn't. Okay. Hopefully this is still going to be here. Um, I have something super exciting to tell you. I'm just hoping to see that I go live. There it is. Whoopsie. Hold on. Am I live? Am I live? Yay. I'm live. Okay. Woohoo. 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 Yay. Here it goes. Got it. Got it. Got it. Here is the cart link. Um, if you guys are catching this replay, um, and if you don't see the cart link, all you need to do is comment, um, let's say standing egg. Okay. All one word comment standing egg and you will get the link sent to you automatically. Are you kidding me? Who's at the door? Oh, guys, hold on one second. I'm so sorry, of course. Um, who's at my front door? Who is that person? Oh, thank you. Alexa home. Okay. Sorry about that guys. It looks like that was something I was waiting for to come in the mail. Um, and that was nice. The delivery person, um, left it for me. They rang the doorbell to let me know it was there. That was nice of them. Since none of my ring, um, things want to be working. Sorry about that guys. Always happens to me. I swear. Um, hi Anita. Hi Jen Clark. Hi Connie. Hi Anna. Hi friends. Hi Suzanne. Hello. Hello. Hi Mary Ellen. Hi Terry. Okay, so anyway, um, hopefully that pinned. I do believe this pinned. Okay, that pinned. I'm just going to quick share this over into my VIP group. Okay. Um, stand, uh, let's see. Vintage egg. Here it goes. All righty, so we've got that done. We are ready to rock and roll. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Jane. All right, so we're going to jump into this, you guys, but I want to first share this with you. Here is something that is super exciting. Tomorrow, we are doing a special, okay, at Chalk, where you can get this Cheers to Poor Choices transfer for free when you shop in my online store. Now, I am going to be doing an online party um, and all you need to do is purchase these items. Now, if you are interested in taking advantage of purchasing these items, oops, I forgot to put this link in. Darn it. Okay. All you need to do is, oh, you know what? You can just comment it and I will send you the link. Um, I'll send you the link as soon as I'm done going live. You're going to comment party time, all one word. Do not do any dashes, any spaces, comment party time. And I will send you this link and it'll be live for tomorrow. We will do this live in my VIP group. And this is going to be for a St. Patty's Day t-shirt party. Um, and you are going to get this Cheers to Poor Choices transfer for free. Okay. Um, guys, what did I say was going to be the link for the, um, for the egg? Oh gosh, I already forgot what I said I was going to call the egg um, for my... Um, my replay viewers. I totally forgot. But this is going to be a $50 bundle and you're going to get an 11 by 23 ink mat. You're going to get a multi-tool, a small squeegee, a pack of board erasers, a pack of color trays, meadow, shimmer gold, and bright white um, couture ink singles. And you're going to also get that cheers to poor choices transfer, which is only available to get for free. And it's one per household. So it will come. We also have another transfer, which of course I forgot to 
Uh, well, I didn't forget. We didn't get the actual image yet. Hi, Allie. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Carolyn. Hey, Pam Powers. Hi, Sharla. Um, there's another transfer that's going to launch tomorrow, too. It's called Make Room to Bloom. And um, again, I we only got a snippet of what it looks like, and I totally forgot to... Um, I totally forgot to upload that to Switcher. So unfortunately, hi, April. Hey, Lori. How are you doing, you guys? Um, I totally forgot what I said was my my first keyword for the replay viewers, guys. But we'll come back to that. It's not a big deal. Because I will get it in. I'll go back and listen myself. So let's jump in and let's create this project. Now, we're going to use the Spring Bunnies pattern. Okay. Um, hi, Connie Thompson. How are you doing? Ah, um, we got to snooze that because I got to do that afterward, too. Um, got lots happening. I have so much to do. Not enough time, of course, in a day to do all of the things. Story of my life. Um, who else has these days? Oh, guys, also, guess what else today is? Today's National Love Your P Pets Day. Um, so if you did not know that, um, you should know that. Okay, we got to snooze this ring, okay? Because this is going to keep going off. Something is happening in my backyard, okay, where the... We need to snooze these this alert for at least four hours. Okay, there it is. It's snoozed. Um, we got to snooze that because it goes off all the time. All right, so the colors we're going to use today are Burnt Umber and Wild Wasabi. Um, one is Deco Art Americana. The other one is Folk Art. Okay, you did not know that, Terry? What did you not know? That it was National Love Your Pets Day? Well, I am happy to share, um, which is super exciting, right? Now, here's what we are going to do. We're going to get these open. And you, the cart link has the stuff that we're going to use. Now, if you want to, if you'd prefer to use chalk paste, you can. Hi, Elizabeth Allen. How have you been? You love your pet every day. So do we, Deborah. We love our little Eddie boys every single day. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to squeeze this color on. I'm going to, I'm going to use a foam brush. It's just honestly the best way to make this color come in. Okay, um, I'm noticing I'm really enjoying painting with the foam brushes. The the um, bristle brushes really add a, when you're trying to do like the feather weathering, um, you guys know what that is. Hopefully, if you've been following me for a little while, you know that that's another fun way to distress. I'm kind of on this kick now where you do the two different colors, the darker color on the bottom. My accident, the way I accidentally figured out this one when I was not paying attention, which is who would have thought an an awesome accident like that would have happened by not paying attention? And I was playing around with our wax, thinking I had to wax something, and I waxed at the wrong time, and I did not know it would have happened. Just total coincidence. Hi, Toka Boca girl. How are you doing over on YouTube? Hello, hello. And if any I missed anybody else on YouTube, I apologize. I just did. There you go. There you go. There's a shout out for you. Um, yes, my puppy Ange for grandbabies. Oh, how fun. How fun. Okay, so let's keep going. And we are gonna paint this. Now, I'm probably only gonna do one coat of this, to be honest with you. It'll be probably a double coat of the other, of the wasabi color. Honestly. But this is really getting soaked in pretty well. So maybe I do want to do two coats. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. We'll see. I am going to do the front and the back, though. I can tell you that much. So let me make sure that it is all dry. I do want to at least make sure that it is really it has really good coverage, though. I will tell you that much. This is going to look so cute, you guys. I am like geeking out over my Easter decor, okay, because I found some really cute stuff today um, when I had to go run and grab some stuff. Hi, Leanne Parker. Hi, Shelly Ann. Hi, Cindy Hardy. Hi, Denise Fletcher. Hello, hello, friends. Um, I had to run to um, Walmart to grab something. Hi, Linda Jordan. I had to grab some stuff for cleaning, like, you know, house cleaning and stuff. Um, and they, I just happened to check my Walmart and they had the best vintagey looking decor. Oh, you're so cute. So, um, so cute. 
Toka Boca Girl, what is your name? Hi, Natalie Vines, how are you? So I don't have to keep saying Toka Boca Girl, even though it does roll off my tongue really nicely, but that way I can say your actual name. Hi, Leanne, how you doing, friend? So yeah, you guys, I'm so pumped too about that Cheers to Poor Decision, or Poor Choices, I think it is, Cheers to Poor Choices transfer, because um, me and my girlfriends, I think are gonna be making that as um, a great shirt to be wearing for St. Patty's Day, I will tell you that much. And for Irish Weekend, we do that down the shore during Car Show Weekend. We have a great time. And now I'll have multiple shirts to wear for the whole weekend because I always have a few. But now I'll have another one that I can make with chalk, which is super awesome. So excited about it. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Sherry. Hi, friends. How are you? All right, let's get this side dry. And then we're going to move on to the next step. We should be able to have this done hopefully in 20 minutes. This is not going to be a hard project, you guys. This really isn't. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Joyce. How you doing, friends? Hello, hello. Hi, Tarian. How are you? On YouTube? All right, I'm not so concerned about the back. I'm not really worried. You haven't inked a shirt in a while, Pam? Ooh, Pam. I will have a... Um, an ink shirt project coming up for you guys this weekend because I have our girls um, crafting weekend. So since I'll be away with the, the girls, I will not be able to be live this weekend, but I have plenty of content. Don't you worry. There's plenty of stuff that's going to be coming. I'll be scheduling that later today. All right. So we've got this all done. One last drying on the front. One last dry. Whoops. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Barb. Hi, Sherry. You're not bored, and I am I am. while well, I found your own crafty time. <laughs> I love that. I love that, Natalie. Hi, Cappy Miller. How are you, friends? Cappy, did you say I responded to your message? Hopefully, hopefully you did. And if you did, I will go ahead and send you that um, link if you responded to it. We'll make it work. Don't worry, my friends. Don't worry. That's not your name. Okay, sorry. Uh, I don't know what your name is then. It says, I am Tarian. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know what your name is. Hi, Sandy Nelson. How are you? I love inking too, Connie. I inked that shirt. Um, my I did the um, more issues than Vogue. <laughs> ah, Pam is your bestie. Oh, I love that. Hi, Jeanette Holmes. How you doing over on YouTube? Hi, Jess Stuckley. How are you? Okay, you guys. So the next step in doing this is, where's my wax? Now we got to wax this, okay? So you're going to use our surface wax before we do our next inking or our next painting step okay I'm so glad you're doing well all right so I'm gonna do um the sides I'm really honestly not so concerned with the back nobody's gonna see the back but I guess I'll wax it anyway I didn't really do all that much here, too, either, to be honest with you. I didn't do, like, very deep coat. And there's a big knock, notch in the back of it, so I'm really not so concerned. Okay. And now that I got everything else done, I can go ahead and do paint the bottom really quickly. I forgot to do that. Just a little bit I got to just do, just so it's not showing as, you know, all there. I didn't want to do it while it was still drying and I had to put it on its end, you know? 
Okay, that's enough. That's enough of that. All right, so we waxed. Everything's nice and dry. Now we're gonna do, I did get your message. Oh, okay, great, Kevy. awesome. I was running like a lunatic. Um, um, I was running like a lunatic today, having to get like a bunch of stuff, like have to go here, have to go there, have to do some things, you know. So um, I did not check my messages yet today, which is, I'm a little late doing that. Hi, Sandy. Um, you didn't know where that came from. Since kindergarten. Wow, that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so now, now we're going to do our second coat, okay? What the hey? I don't know how that happened. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just put this down onto my my desk. Again, I've got a glass top desk. Um, we can zoom in here so that way you guys can see more of what I'm doing. Okay. So I've got this whole first coat done. I'm going to come in and I'm going to go over this with my second layer. And I'm going to make sure that this is a good, we got to do two coats that way it's not showing underneath. Okay. So we're going to dry it. We'll get a second coat going. And then we'll do the next part. And you will need some tools for this next part after we're done. Well, no, after we're done the painting and the chalking, you're going to need a tool. But I think anybody can do this part, really. Let's try this front part. Oops, that's my nice big thumbprint <laughs> for me holding it. Oh, no problem, Natalie. No problem at all. You do see the closed captioning, right? Because I don't see it. Do you see it? Hi, Lisa. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Hi, Diane. Hi, Lisa. Awesome, Cappy. Great. Hi, Heather. Hi, Amity. How are you? What's going on, girlfriend? I love that you're here, Natalie. What the heck was that noise? I'm gonna say something here that's probably, you know, a little disgusting and sorry, but this feet, this paint smells like feet. I don't know why. It's brand new. All right. I kind of didn't want to have to hit this with so much heat, uh, with so much heat, because I do have the wax, and I the, obviously the goal is to not melt the wax. We don't want to melt the wax for what we're doing. So hopefully the paint did not melt it. I mean, the, the heat did not melt it. I tried to hold it back a little bit. That looks perfecto. Okay, let's get some more along our sides. Alrighty, let's get this part. Oops, keep getting my thumbprint there, you guys. <laughs> All right, let's get this dried again. 
Hi, Sonia. Hi, Natalie again. Hi, Diana. Oh, hi, Natalie James. Okay. You're smiling at me. Thanks, Natalie. You're so sweet. Let's see. Sandy, I can't believe you guys have been besties for 67 years. That's crazy. That is awesome. Since kindergarten. I love that. You guys are so cute. Do you guys go out and do fun things together or do you not live near each other? Hi, Sharon Lynn Smith. You guys, who is pumped about the awesome uh, freebie that is coming tomorrow? Whoops, that's not, that's not it. Hold on. I'm going to pop this up while I'm drying. There's our freebie tomorrow with any purchase in my online store. I'm just telling you about a party that I'm going to be doing. And that way you can get in on it. We're going to do a t-shirt party. You have to go on and order. It'll be 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. All you got to do is order. It'll be a cart link. All I need you to do is comment party time. All one word down below. Comment party time. All one word down below. If you want to get in on it. And then what I'll do is I will send you the link. And then you'll be ready to go for 9 a.m. tomorrow. Um, because it's going to be a lot of fun. And you'll get. You want to be able to get that free transfer. Because that's the only way you can get it. That transfer is free. You can't buy it. Um, that. Uh, cheers to poor, was it cheers to poor choices? I keep forgetting. Hi, Tanya. Um, <laughs> hi, Don Marie. What kind of tabletop am I using? I got this table. It is a, um, a standing table. You can, it can rise and go down. Um, I got it at, it, it's like one of the big bulk stores. Um, either, uh, no, it's, um, what's the one that's related to, um, Walmart? Is that Sam's? I think Sam's is related to Walmart. It's that one. That's the one I got it at. Why did I just put this down where it was wet? That was not smart on oh, my, my, that was not smart. Hold on. Oh. Let me, let me get this to dry. All right, I'm gonna dry this up. Hi, Kelly D. Hi, Diane Bateman. Oopsie. Sam's. Thank you, Tanya. I couldn't remember. Thank you, Connie. I could not remember. I knew it had, it's the one that my dad, like me and my dad always have opposite. So if my dad's like, all right, I'm going to join this one. I'm like, all right, I'll join this one. So that way we can just always get for each other, like. So we always have an opening. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Are we almost dry here? This one is still a little wet. This has to be totally dry for this to work. Hey, hey, Betsy. You're welcome, Sonia. All right, I think we are totally dry now. Except for at the top here. I see a little wet. I see some wetness. Down at the bottom, we're definitely not dry here. Not like that matters because I'm not doing this technique on the bottom. But I do need it to be dry on the sides because we are going to do the technique on the sides. And right here, it's like extra bumpy. Come on. Sorry, you guys. There's something I really got to remember to do. Sandy and I were next door neighbors when we met. We grew up in Washington State. Sandy now lives in Texas. I still live. Uh oh, hold on. I got to finish this up so I can move it through. Sandy still lives in Washington. And I live in Washington in winter in Arizona. Oh, how cool is that? I have a mess here. I'm packing up all my snowman, hoping for no more snow, bringing out the bunnies. So I'm trying to listen as I pack up my bins. Oh, awesome, Kathy. That's so fun. Okay, I think we're good now, you guys. All right? So, next step. You know what? Here's what we're going to do, actually, because I have a little bit left, and I don't want it to go to waste. I am going to just do a second coat on the background here because it's kind of weak. I did a really weak job here. But like I said, I wasn't planning to do the back, like anything great with the back, but it 
definitely was a weak paint job. Nobody's going to see the back. I'm not worried about it. Okay, ready? Quick dry, and then we're going to be done again. Hi, Tara. Ten minutes to get this finished up. Ten to fifteen, hopefully, because I got to get stuff packed away. I have a time frame to keep, you guys. <laughs> time frame to keep. Don't want to get paint on my transfer, so I got to clean my desk up here. All right, I think we're good. I'm gonna go with that, we're good. All right, let's close this up. Let's get my towel to dry the desk. Okay, I think we're all good. Close up our paint. All righty, now, this next part, of course, and I see it's still wet right here. How is that possible? Um, Woo! Didn't mean to do that. All right. We are dry. Now, you are going to get, where is it? You know these thingies from, um, what are they called? God, that's filthy. Uh, these are like your Cricut scrapers, you guys. That's what this is. Okay. You're going to get your Cricut scraper and here we go. Sorry. Mine was a mess. Of course I have to clean it up. And what you're going to do is you're going to come in and you are gonna scrape. Okay. And what you're actually doing is, is where your wax, if you wax heavy, like I didn't do very much wax, I didn't go too heavy on it, but where you waxed, you're going to be able to pick off with this scraper, okay, and you will get the underneath effect. Do you see this? Now, I'm not going to go too crazy with this one, okay? Not like I did with the other carrots, okay? Okay. Oh, sorry. I know that might be a little hard for some people to hear too. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you see this? How it like gives you that little bit of a vintage effects from underneath. Now, what I will tell you is the harder you go and the more wax you use, the more you'll be able to pick up. I am a little leery because this is really cheap wood. I kind of want to go a little bit more hard but I'm a little, a little worried to do it. And also, because I was hitting it with so much heat to try to dry it quicker, it may be that some of my wax did come off. So hold on, I'm gonna get a little something else to see if I can make this work. Here it goes. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of a razor blade, okay? And I'm gonna go like this. Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm gently pulling this and I am doing this super easy because I am very worried about myself here because I am usually accident prone. If Tanya's still on, she'll vouch for me with that, okay? But all I'm doing is I'm scraping off the wax. I'm just going, this is actually super gentle. You don't even have to do all that hard. I love, I'm loving, loving, loving this look. Did you see this? Hi, Jeremy. Isn't it so pretty, Lori? Yes, I am. That's exactly what it is. Hi, Karen Lee Johnson Hunt. Hi, Christy Frank. 
So you see this? I'm just coming in and I'm lifting up some of the color from underneath to get that brown. Now I'm gonna go a little heavier in some areas just because, you know, you wanna have it a little bit heavier just so you can see. And it wasn't all just for not. But I'm not gonna do it all over. I'm just gonna do it in some spots. Okay, I'm a little worried about even touching this razor blade. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to hurt myself. <laughs> Look how good this is turning out. Oh my gosh. I love it. Do you see how cool this looks? What do you guys think? Awesome, right? Oh my God. Oh, it's looking so good on the side too. Oh, this was the way to go. Maybe because this wood was so much, it's like, it's not a, a solid wood. I don't know how to describe this. It's kind of like, um, it feels um, very, not, it, it feels hollow in the middle. Does that make sense? So I can't really give a lot of pressure to it. If that means anything. I don't know if I'm even making sense with what I'm saying there. Like, it doesn't feel very sturdy in the center. So, trying to push a little harder with the Cricut scraper may not have been what I, I should have done there. And that's why I got to use the, the razor blade. There it goes. Oh, this is looking fantastic. It really is. Oh my God. This is like my vintagey dreams right here, you guys. I am so digging that. You see that? I literally, you know what it is, guys? It's, I think, an eyebrow. <laughs> it's an eyebrow tool. Um, like where you can shape your eyebrows. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what it is. All right, so we've got ourselves nice and distressed now. I need to put the lid on this thing so I don't get myself hurt because I'm scared to death of this thing. Let's get it back on. Yeah, I don't want to hurt myself. I am terrified of it. Okay, here is this. Okay. Now, we are going to get our Spring Bunnies pattern. Uh-oh. Hey, now, I got almost all of my... Um, sorry, you guys. Sorry, sorry. Snooze. Okay. I got almost all of my... Uh, hi, Mike Marino. How are you? I think it's interesting, different way to see brown background. Cool stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that's what it is. It is, it literally is an eyebrow pencil, <laughs> an eyebrow tool. All right, so now we're going to come in and we are going to um, get our bright white paste, okay? I'm going to get a label. I'm going to label the back of this. This is Spring Bunnies Pattern. All right, and we just need a little bit of this. Hi, Stacy. how are you? All right, uh-oh, you guys, I just got it stuck on itself. Oh no, just take your time. Woo, literally. Cannot believe that just happened. All right. I do too. Hi, Sandra Morrell, how are you, friends? All right, you guys. So now I'm going to come in and I'm going to use, whoops, we got to move that up just a little bit more. Oy. And we're going to get some bright white paste, which I put somewhere right here. It's underneath the transfer. Okay. I probably should have fuzzed it up, but you know what? If it distresses it even more, I'm on board. I'm totally on board with that. No big deal. Okay. 
and we are going to pull this design all over. And part of me didn't want to, I like kind of wanted to leave it a little funky in some spots. So I probably will, so that way it looks a little distressed. Or what I can do is come in, dry it, and distress some of it off afterward. Which is another thing you can do. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Oh my goodness gracious, would you look at that and see how pretty that looks, you guys? Now, should I, should I, should I do the sides of the egg? I don't want to, I don't think. I don't want to do the side of the egg, what do you think? I'm so glad to hear that, Sandra. I know, I hate when it happens too. Believe me. I don't think I'm going to do it, you guys. I think I'm just going to keep it for the front. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Bart Bailey. Hi, Linda. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Rita. Thank you, Pam. Thanks, guys. All right, yeah, you guys agree I should not do it on the sides? Perfect. I'm not doing it then. All right, so... This part is done. And you know what? I don't have to distress it. it. It automatically did it on its own. Okay. So let's put this to the side. Get our lid on our bright white paste. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, friends. All right. No on the sides. We're not doing it. No worries. All right. So we are all done here. Thank you, guys. Thanks, friends. You make me feel so good. Thank you, thank you. Now, I will tell you, I am going to come back over here, though, really quickly, because over here, that bright white went a little too far on the edge. I want to see a raw edge. There it goes. Perfecto. Perfecto. Okay, now, remember I said we need to get our tools? Time for some tools. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our little drill, okay? If you are not old enough to be operating a drill, please don't. Don't be getting me kicked off, okay? We're going to go with, I'm going, I got these at, I don't know, I think Michael's maybe. Maybe Michael's. These are a box of dowels. You're so welcome, Jane. Hi, more time to chalk. How are you? All right, so let's see. Oh, I probably should have painted. You know what? I'm not, I'm going to paint the this. I am going to paint it. But I'm going to, I'm going to quick and dirty paint it. I'm not going to paint it where it looks like real good. I want it to be like distressed up. So I'm going to just use whatever paint is left on this brush. That's it. That's all I'm doing. If it doesn't fully make it and it leaves it a little funky, okay, I'm fine with that. Now, I already have my glue gun plugged in because after I drill the hole and it sits inside the little wooden thing, I am going to glue it in as well, okay? Look at that, quick and dirty. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. Quick and easy. Oops, hold on. I missed a whole spot right there. <laughs> it's all good now. So good. Okay. Now, where's my drill? Um, I need a drill bit. I'm going to... Ow. Oh, that hurt. Hold on, you guys. I tried to lift it up with my fingernail. It didn't come out. It looked like it was not all the way in. And that was a sad mistake in part for me. 
is. I feel like that's gonna be big enough. We don't know, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna test it out. This is the game that Jess plays when I, when I play with tools. Is it in fact big enough for this? That's backwards, that's forwards. All right, let's just play the game now. This appears to look centered. Does not appear to be a big enough hole now that I look at it. Okay, so I need the next size up. I'd rather be a little bit, I'd rather start smaller than too big, because if we go too big, then we got a little bit of a problem, right? Then we got a little bit of a problem. So let's start off a little bit smaller, and we increase it. A little bit bigger is all we gotta do. No biggie. I just hope it's centered, because now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, uh-uh. It does not look centered at all. And this still does not appear to be big enough. Ha, ha there we go. Oopsie, is that really in? That is not in all the way. And we may decide that this is too big of a stick. I feel like that's a little too big. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. I feel like it's just a little too big. And that came off so easy, so nice and easy. And I'll glue that in, no big deal. Whoops, that was not even close to sitting into the hole. Ha <laughs> ha, not even close. Oh my gosh, and there's the reminder, again, I know. I know, it's coming, I get it, okay. All right, now we need our little wooden thingy, hold on, and I got that there. Now we need our little wooden dowel. Hi Joy, hi Debbie Bailey, hi Kim, hi Libby. Hi, hi, friends. Hi, more time to chalk, how are you? Ouch. Okay. Really? How much plastic do they have to put on this? It's a lot of plastic. I'm not painting the wood rounds, I don't wanna. I like it just the way it is. Hold on, that was not smart, you guys. What I was just doing. <laughs> not smart at all. Mm. I need help to push this through. You know what it is? I gotta do it like this, hold on. I probably should have held off on painting it because the paint is actually making it a little slick or something. Thanks, Libby. What color green? It is called uh, Wild Wasabi from Folk Art. But I feel like it looks really close to our... Uh, what, what color is that? Um, sage. That's the color I was thinking. You guys, I think we are in. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue into this, into the little hole here to glue it in to make sure it's, oops, to make sure it's in there. And hold on, come on. 
I need it to be flat so it will stand up straight. Look at that! Hold on, let me change the uh, angle so that way you guys can see. You guys, how cute is this? I feel like we need some uh, trim. What do we think? We want to pop a color in here? Shall we do a little pop of color? Hope the boys are home. Should we do a little pop of color? Or should we just go with like some natural? What do we think? Oh, oh, wait, hold on. What, where? Hi, guys. I'll be up in a second. I'm just about done. Oops. Shoot. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hi, Stephanie. Where did I get the wooden egg? Rita, I got it at Michael's. I think, I mean, it, it seems pretty solid, believe it or not, Natalie. It's pretty good. Hi, Marie Watt. Thanks, Lori. Natural, says Cappy. Okay. We're going to stick with natural colors then. I'm going to go with this piece and this piece and this piece. I think I agree. I like the idea of natural. Yeah, it's up. It's staying. I'm impressed. Believe me, I'm impressed. All right, I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm going to save a half for another project because I don't need a full piece. And then I'm going to cut it in the, the piece that I did take for this project. I'm going to cut it in half again because we can make multiple little ties. Oh, you guys, this turned out so cute. Woo. Okay, those three, and then let's get these three cut in half. Shall we? Can I actually tie all at once? That would be epic. If I could. If I could. I think I did. <laughs> oh, I love it. You guys, it's so cute. I probably should have tied it, tied them by themselves, but who cares? It's still cute. Look at that. What do we think? Do we love it? Do we love it? Do we not? Give me lots of hearts if you love it. Where did I get my ribbon? Also from Michaels. Um, sorry, I messaged you, but I don't know you were live. It's okay, Marie, no worries. That egg looks great. Well, thank you. I will look at that. Um, I will look at that as soon as I am done, the, your message. Hi, Patty. So that's it, guys. That's all she wrote, okay? If you're catching the replay, I said there was a, a link that you can comment or, or a keyword that you can comment. I don't remember entirely what the keyword was. Um, but you'll see it come on, I think. Um, <laughs> it'll, it'll be around, I'm sure. And then, um, but you guys now, if you want to go on and grab the little, um, what is that called? The cute little spring bunnies pattern and the bright white paste and all before that's gone, go and grab it in the cart link I posted. That'll take you right to it. You don't want to miss out. And I got some other Super fun ideas planned for this transfer. So hopefully over the next two days. Oh, of course, Cappy. And I'll respond to your message too um, as soon as I'm done. Hi, Mary. How are you? 